Everybody's doing everything as far as being productive within their life and you know the dreams that they want to achieve as far as the world as of today. You know it's so sad. Always believe and live and let live and that's the way we need to move as far as you know within our progress of our life and I feel as though if something doesn't have nothing to do with you why do you concern yourself with it? Anybody being said. Now I don't know if you know about this but with I've been kind of giving you a little rough draft in reference to what's going on in reference to you know the Target stores that um, you know, when you, you department stores and stuff, you know, they're going through a challenging time because simple fact of the matter is that um, they were saying in reference to transgenders inside the bathroom and they're calling transgenders, um, we're now pedophiles, we're predators, we're, we're just all these lucrative type of things as far as being a bad person. They have transferred that energy as far as what we what we are explaining. We are just using the bathroom and they turn it into something of a crime. You know, it's really sad that, you know, um, we have really wish-washed this whole thing into something so negative of using the bathroom. Now, of course, if you keep, um, you keep adding fuel to the fire, you fire your things, you're going to have more people to sign on as far as attacking transgenders. And imagine that it is Christian people. You know, it's so amazing to me that Christians always like to jump in and use the Lord's name. But I love to question you Christians. You sit back and you say all this about God does this, God does that. But, you know, the thing that gets me with that, do you take responsibility as of giving your these parents, these people that have children, and you put this information into their head, and you tell them that being gay, everything is bad, and they listen to you, and they take their children, they put them on the streets, not all of them. You take your children, you throw them on the streets, your children end up dead. Do you take responsibility as far as being the gun that dodged the bullet into the parents that shot the child that made them dead on the ground that we are watching and we're giving this, you know, eulogy of death because the parents that are listening to you help put them inside the ground. When you sit up there and you do all these things as far as gay people, do you stand back and say, wow, someone died because they were listening to something I said because that's what the Lord told me. The Lord didn't tell you that because the Lord would have told you this. The Lord told you, love thy neighbor as thy want them to love thyself, but you don't use that. You find things and you use it to work in your favor. But I just want to know, all you church people who love to go against the LGBT, do you take responsibility when another black, gay, trans person is on the ground murdered? Because someone felt that he needed to die for your sin is what you preach. Do you take responsibility for that information that you feed into the people and you brainwash it into and you brainwash them into killing their own children? Sure, you did not tell them to put the knife up to their head, but you sent them out in the streets into the world of wolves. 
But at the end of the day, you want to pass your collection plate, and you don't want to pay taxes for the lives that you have destroyed. And I'm not saying every church member is saying. Anyway, the that back in history hand. Now, if you don't know this, um, there have been people that of the Church of Christians that sign on and they want to do the boycott and thing as reference to the transgender side of Africa, and they want to make it into something of a statement of, you know, being very bad. Once again, we're not criminals. We're no longer transgenders. We're not criminals. So, it's a separation to me. Because what you're talking about is pedophilia. What you're talking about attacking women, that's so totally different. And we're not out there to attack your women and stuff like that. We don't have to do that because so most of you husbands are doing that to your wives at home. you beating them. Anyway, that being said, let me stand something right here. Anyway, in case you don't know this, there was a, um, in St. Louis on April the 29th, 2016, there was been people as, a, as far as a muscle floor. There has been people as far as a Christian that has been starting to attack Target. And they feel as though it's important that they need to scream inside of the um, department stores where people are working. And they need to scream to tell people, you know, be ashamed of Target, hate Target, hate Target. And this, this is the one thing that's good about this. And I hate to say this, not really to see racial, but I hate to say this, but it's the fact a lot of white people stand behind their children more so than the black people. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. I have talked to so many white people who still been here behind their children, they may be gay or kids to be sure they give them a little bit hard way to go, but they don't really do the things that black people or Spanish people do. You saw them out on the streets, but anyway, stay on the story and okay. So let me just go in this video. On April the 29th, 2016, which was last month, here go one of your favorite Christian people inside of um Target on St. Louis. Check this out. I can't believe Target allows men to use women bathrooms. I just can't believe that Target would allow men to walk into a woman's bathroom. I just can't believe that Target would allow men to walk into a woman's bathroom. What an open door for perverts and sickos. I wonder if the management would allow their nine-year-old daughter uh, to be in a, a bathroom with a man walking into it. Wicked, wicked, wicked. God will judge Target. Okay, so, screaming inside the store and stuff like that for a reason. They want to get their point out that they want people to know that, you know, Target is, um, not discriminating and you know we we want them to kick them out of the bathroom because you're you're condoning this type of thing okay well in case you don't know there's another person um that's a christian now remember this is christian we say this is about love so this this is how they share their love with us um this is another person that's went inside the store he says wicked 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 it's time to repent he y'all uh, rip up your target cards Hey y'all, rip up your target cards. It's time to rip off. It's time to rip up the rainbow. The rainbow belongs to God, not you. Isn't that funny? The rainbow belongs to God, not you. But yet and still, guess who's playing God? Here he is, right? Wicked, wicked. It's time to repent. It's time to get right with God. Rip up your, your target cards. It's time to get rid of the rainbow. The rainbow belongs to God, not to you. You know, uh, there's another one. His name is Michael. Marich, it, you know, his name was Michael. Um, this. He went inside a target, and this is in um, Illinois, and this active um, protester was inside the store and everything, and he was basically letting people know, once again, to hate, not love, to hate letting transgenders inside the bathroom and then nothing but perverts and stuff like that, and, you know, and somebody inside the store must be over it, somebody inside the store must be gay. Because, baby, they got on there and they said, we have an active shooter inside of this store. 
and 1615 North State Route 50, 55 miles south of Chicago. Today at Bradley's Target store on Highway 50, his actions, according to police, caused panic among store employees and customers this afternoon. A lockdown on several businesses at the strip mall after Marichko went inside. This woman works at the nearby hair cuttery and describes the chaos after dozens of cop cars rushed the parking lot. He came over here, started walking, told him to lay face down. He got down in the wood chips, grassy area and laid there. Then the next thing I know, someone, I'm assuming target security because it was on a red shirt came over and put his hands behind his back and cuffed him and they sat him up and let him sit there a few minutes and then put him in the car. Marishko as seen by this Facebook post. Repent. 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 Quoted scripture in previous visits in an effort to prove his point. It's pretty much gotten to the point if you're real if you believe in manhood you're an offense and you're better off dead to them. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not changing my mind for anybody. Tonight, Bradley police are still looking into how the call initially came out as an alert about an active shooter, Alice. Okay, he said, now his whole thing is that he doesn't like transgenders and stuff like that. He was like, well, you know, it's just wrong and stuff like that, and then you can't do this because abomination, you know. Ugh. Anyway, so anyway, the, um, the news people got there and everything as far as the story, and what happened was when they got there and said, whoever caught them said it was a shooter. There was a shooter inside the store, because they, cause they know if they say shooter, you're going to show up faster. Because if you say, oh, it's just somebody just the coming, they're like, there's an active shooter inside the store, and I'm with you. That's right. Get them there in a hurry. Get them out of here, because let me tell you something. There are people, there are a variety of different people inside of Target. There are some people that have trans children, children. There are some people that have gay children. There are some people that are in there that's even gay. And you're coming into their homes, oh, not their homes, their stores. Oh, but they're at their backyard. I call it their home because that's where they work at. It's big, like, on, um, you know, nine, ten hours a day. Sometimes you more at your job than you are at work. And here it is, you're coming inside of their work, making it a lot difficult because you want to pass your ways on somebody that you feel is tell us right. So why aren't you at work? Why do you have time to take out to go to the Christmas store? I mean, to the um, Tiger store, just to tag. Anyway, the been that. But then there was another one. And this is the Portland crew. And he took aim at Target once again. And he was in the back. He's with his Bible, you know, saying um, anti-gay, you know, Target. Terrorists, he, ter he terrorized the customers inside, you know, with his little Bible stuff and stuff. Here he is right here. Target! This is your wake-up call. The Bible says that from the beginning, God made the male and female. He didn't make transvestites. He made the male and female. Jesus said, and what he that what justified the wicked and condemned the just, both are an abomination. Both of them are an abomination. No, it's not. Target, this is your warning. You will be judged according to God's standards. Not man, but God. The Bible says to fear God. The Bible says choose this day whom you will serve. Choose this day whom you will serve. You need to repent or you're going to see the lake of fire on judgment day. You will see the lake of fire on judgment day. You will be judged. And if there's Christians in here supporting this abomination, shame on you. You're not a true Christian. You're shame on you. You're an asshole. Jesus said, choose this day whom you will serve. But you justify this place. You have to stand by the bathrooms because perverts can go in there because it's transvestites allowed. I went to a book mark that takes it here in just a second. I've already called 911. You don't have to take that from the Station Target Store. I've actually got two situations 
would want to do on the part behind the black hole the top of his lungs is scaring all of our guests uh, all the way. He's right outside the exit doors. You can't miss him. He's a tall African-American gentleman wearing a bright yellow shirt saying, God destroyed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he's going to... You know what? Um, that was in um, Tennessee, Illinois. Anyway, that being said, I just want to give you the different things that Target is going through because they stand in the truth and they do not want to segregate or discriminate against someone who has nothing to do with you. And it, it's very sad. Anyway, the bed said, you know, I'm going to tell you something. And it's just my opinion. And it's just food for thought for all you Christian people out there, you know, who love to eat on people. And yet and still, you use God as a, a shield to swing the sword to destroy lives. Let me tell you something. You keep beating on the door long enough. Keep beating on it. Eventually, it's going to open. Now, when you keep pushing on that door, don't be surprised that what you reaped is what you'll sow. So all the heat and the abuse and the discouraging and the attacking and stuff that has nothing to do with God has to do with you. You keep beating that dog long enough, it's going to bite you. Because I'm going to tell you something. After a period of time, the LGBT is going to get tired of y'all beating on them. And I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a mighty wind that's going to come. And it's going to wake y'all up. And it's going to be a retaliation that you've never seen in your life. You keep beating on them. Keep beating on them. Watch what's going to happen. Anyway, the man said, I'm not saying um, I could do violence. But I do say one thing. If you keep hitting a dog long enough, and I'm saying we dogs. But you treat us like them. You keep beating on it long enough. It'll bite you. Anyway, the band said, I love to how you feel about this. Once again, if we can't get murdered, we get pushed out the bathroom by some Christian Bible thumper. Anyway, the band said, I love how you feel about this. And I want to say hello to my dogs. Yeah. I want to say hello to my kids. <laughs> I want to say hello to new people. Boom. I want to say old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do. I want you to do the best way that you can. And if nobody likes it, then fuck them. Or